Welcome to unit three in the marketing series for your practice. Today we're going to be covering what you need to do to optimize your website. There's a number of key things that you need to do on your website that work to help people move from no to like to trust. The very first thing is understanding that there's only two things that people look for on a website. And we know that people are so overwhelmed with the number of options that they have. We want to make that simple for them to know that this is the best place to be. So the first thing that people ask themselves when they land on a website is, am I in the right place? Is this the place that I should be? I'm looking for a counselor. I'm looking for a chiropractor. I'm looking for a massage therapist. Specifically, I'm looking for a counselor that can help me with my marriage or help me with my kids. So first they ask, am I in the right place? Is this a counseling website? Next, we want to say, can this person help me? That's the next question that everybody asks. So we don't want to make it hard for people to understand that. Right away, we want people to know they're in the right place. So if you're a mental health therapist, then we should have the words counseling, therapist, family counseling on your page. It should be in your URL if possible. It should be in the name of your business. It should be clear front and center without having to scroll anywhere. And then we want to have your specialty be clearly articulated above the fold. Above the fold is so that you don't have to scroll down at all. Next, we want to think of your website as the hub of everything because we want to send people back to it. If it's a tweet, if it's on social media in any form, we want to be sending people back to your website. As well, we want to be referencing that website if you're ever on the radio, if you're writing for the local paper. The more that you can see that as your hub online, the better. Once there, we want to make sure we keep them there. There's a couple mistakes that so many counselors make in their private practices. And here's a couple of them. The very first mistake that people make is that they put social media in their header. So when people are there, they then click on the Twitter icon, the Facebook, Instagram, they check it out. Next thing you know, they're looking at pictures of cats or pictures from their friend's vacation. They forgot completely about wanting to book with you. So we want to eliminate that from the header altogether. Number two, oftentimes people will have a huge resource list. They'll link, link to national websites. They'll link to other suicide hotlines. They'll link to all these different things off of their website. Now it's important to obviously provide some resources if someone's dealing with a mental health emergency, but we want to view those links off your website almost like a hole in a bucket of water, that it's sending people away from the main thing, and that's scheduling with you. The third thing that people do wrong is they have a huge book list. They list all these different books, and similar to the other points, it drives people off of their website. And if you're going to do that, at least have it be part of a blog post that spotlights your skill set and have it be connected to an Amazon Associates account so that you can make money off of that referral as well. The next thing that you should do to optimize your website is to do more blogging and internal linking. When you do more blogging and internal linking, what it does is it helps you rank higher in Google. We know that the top one and two websites get over 80% of the click-throughs. And so we want to help you continue to rank. And so what you're going to do is you're going to link to your other blog posts that you've written, as well in the bio of every single blog post, link back to your homepage using those keywords as the anchor text. So for example, if you want to help people with anger management counseling, in your bio, you're not going to put the name of your practice as the link. You're going to put anger management counseling, then link back to your homepage so that that homepage can continue to rank high in Google for that search term, not the name of your practice. Next, what we want to do is we really want to focus your website on the pain and the outcome of your client. So if you help girls that are dealing with cutting, what is the outcome for their family? If someone's dealing with sleep issues or anxiety issues or marriage issues, what does that look like as a pain? How would your ideal client describe that? And then we want to talk about that transition from being frustrated with your partner to finding that love again. What does that transition look like through therapy? So really understanding the pain and then understanding the outcome and making sure we articulate that all over the website is really important to our marketing. Lastly, on your website, we want to make ease of scheduling easy. We want your phone number at the top. We want to have a schedule now button. Sometimes you'll want to have a schedule that someone can schedule through your electronic medical record right away. In general, every extra step that you add for someone tends to cause a drop off in follow through. So whenever possible, you want to make it easy for people to pick up the phone, text you, call you, schedule in any way possible. Of course, the assumption is that it's all HIPAA compliant and that you have a system that's HIPAA compliant as well. So for your homework for this lesson, 
What I want you to do is scan your website. Pick one of those areas that I just covered. We're gonna have a list of those right here so that you can see them again. Now look at one of these issues. So what we have is we have what are the two things that people ask for when they come to their website. Once they're there, look at the headers, making sure you're not drawing people off of your website. Next, we wanna evaluate the internal linking. After that, we wanna look at the pain and the outcome that you're articulating. And lastly, we wanna look at the ease of scheduling. Pick one of these things and focus on that today.